What's going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Crypto Nick and today we have some really breaking news Really crazy stuff that my friend here. Mr. Luxide crypto has to kind of present to us pertaining to ethereum eth 2.0 uh, minor pushbacks I, I mean look there's a lot of really crazy stuff happening and i know all of you are anticipating the pulse chain launch and this might have some form of like impact to it but do not dismay we have a way to figure it out but before we get into it you already know what to do right see that see that thing right there yeah click that subscribe click the, the bell, bell notification yeah, you already know like it and share it out to all your pulse chain hex people I know I'm one of them. You don't have to share it to me because I'm doing the video. Got it? Cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into this. Luxide. What is going What's on? Up? What's up? <laughs> yeah, so we, you know, as you know, uh, Crypto Nick and Joker and I do daily content on YouTube here. And so we do a lot of research about things going on in the market. And there's some, some pretty big things that have kind of gotten swept under the rug that I think we really need to pay attention to. So we all know that this, this merge with Ethereum is coming, Ethereum 2.0, and the miners that you know have been propping up the Ethereum network are essentially gonna be out of a job. So they are pissed, right? Yeah, so absolutely. It, so it sounds like they have a plan in place. So they are actually planning on copying the current software, making a few tweaks, and running the old version of Ethereum using miners. Wow. Right. So okay. this, this sounds uh, sounds kind of familiar, right? So yeah, this, yeah. this guy, this guy, uh, he is an old Ethereum miner. Okay. His name is Hongkai Guao. He is planning on doing this fork, performing it, right? And he goes on to say that everybody will get free money. <laughs> that sounds familiar. When the existing Ethereum holders receive new tokens, if the blockchain is forked, he said, everybody will be happy. Now, does that does that sound kind of familiar to you, uh, Nick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So indeed, it definitely does sound extremely familiar because I know that Richard Hart was explaining that we were going to receive the world's largest airdrop mm -hmm. on the Pulse chain when it does you know, come out. But now, with with what's going on here, it seems something similar is is occurring, right? Uh, if not exactly yeah. the same, um, as far as airdrops are concerned. So, does Pulse Chain essentially still have the selling point of the world's largest airdrop, or are we being front run here? Well, I will say now, you know, you know, chains they are they are made every day, right? And they die every day now. There's a chance that this could obviously be unsuccessful, but it seems this guy is actually pretty hell-bent on, on getting this out. I mean, it goes on further to say that he's actually got a team of 60 devs wow. working on this right now. Wow. And a big wow. a big development as of right now, <clears throat> they actually launched their token, Ethereum POW. So they have a or token? Or the chain. Yes. Wow. So they actually, we, we actually found out that this exchange, uh, MEXC, they announced the swap of Ethereum coins into the fork tokens ETHS and ETHW at a rate of one to one. So one of the tokens will be converted into the upgraded Ethereum, which you know will be for ETH 2.0 once it launches, and then the other one will be for the proof of work network that's going to be launched. So <clears throat> the the big issue here is you know obviously we've been sitting and waiting for for Pulse Chain for quite some time, right? Yep. But there lately, ever since the last. Um, that's that launch. There hasn't been much for information or advancement, right? And in the meantime, we're getting blown by uh, at 70 miles an hour by this other thing that's coming. Wow, that is very interesting that there is now this other thing that uh, essentially could provide the same thing that, um, you know, that, of course, uh, Pulse is, is providing us in, in terms of the airdrop. However, um, you're, you're mentioning this is a proof of work system, right? This is the miners yes. doing something to assist their position and essentially secure their jobs. Um, yep. Now, we know that Pulse Chain is looking to be a proof of stake system, mm -hmm. which is better for the environment. It has, you know, it has, uh, you know, faster uh, throughput from what I'm hearing. I mean, yep. there, there, there's a lot of really big benefits that Pulse Chain has opposed to a proof of work system. Can you speak a little bit about that? 
Yeah. So, you know, obviously proof of work in some chains is starting to get phased out. I know there's government regulation that's pushing towards, you know, proof of works to switch over to, to proof of stakes because it's better for the environment, stuff like that. So how successful it will be is going to depend, obviously, on, you know, the, the amount of users. There's There's been uh, there's kind of the, a little bit of an exodus from this um, Ethereum 2.0. I don't know if it's, you know, the uncertainty of the merge or if they prefer to be on these proof of work chains. But it's, you know, it's kind of a, a wait and see thing. You know, there's, yeah, we, we kind of just, you know, we got to pay attention to it because Absolutely. like I said, you know, we, it's been swept under the rug. I didn't know about it. Did you know about it? No, no, I, I had no idea. And this is yeah. definitely something that we need to pay specific attention to specifically Richard Hart. If you're listening to this, um, people are doing things that are essentially, you know, threatening to your chain. I mean, not not necessarily as far as like, you know, uh, uh, you know, it being a proof of stake system. It's not exactly mm -hmm. the same. But I mean, you know, the the now uh, uh, selling point of you being the uh, largest airdrop um, may not be so true anymore. Um, but that's OK, because this is just another airdrop. Right. So, you know, optimistically yeah. speaking, you know, you have. Now this airdrop and the Pulse Chain airdrop. <laughs> so, I mean, it's free money all around. So I, I really right. like that concept. Now, in terms of Justin Sun, I know there was something going on uh, mm. uh, going on with, with uh, Justin Sun and Tron. If you can go in about uh, what, what, what's going on there. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with Justin Sun, he's a crypto entrepreneur. He created the Poloniex Exchange. I believe he created Tron as well. Now, he's come out and said, you know, because obviously with new chain launches, there's always that that chance that uh, nothing may be picked up. There might not be any adoption, but he's already come out and said these proof of work uh, forks of Ethereum, they are going to support. So they are going to validate this stuff that is coming. Wow, 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 wow. So that's very interesting. Um, I'll tell you what, you know, um, I still think that, you know, Pulse Chain still has a, a big shot here. Um, just, you know, based upon the government regulation that you were mentioning earlier, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there is a chance of this um, having to be forced to go into a proof of stake system where, where the, the miners won't even have a chance at that point, at least in the U.S., right? Um, globally, yeah. that's a whole different story. Um, <clears throat> however, um, I do find this to be a very interesting situation. I'm excited on both fronts because it's free money all around. Who wouldn't want that, right? <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Luxide. If you aren't subscribed to Luxide Crypto, please go ahead and give it a subscription. Also, uh, if you're not subscribed here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, like the channel, and share this out to as many people as possible because this cannot be you know, swept under the rug. We, we really need to pay specific attention to what's going on in the space, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'm Crypto Nick. That's Luxide Crypto, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for Take care. Bye-bye.